Hi, this is Julie with Beetaholic, and today I want to explore with you how to create a bale or attach various mixed media products to each other or to create jewelry pieces with them. So Scrabble tiles, which are a lot of fun, dominoes, bottle caps, these are great pieces to incorporate into jewelry design. And probably the biggest question we get here at Beetaholic is how do I attach them? How do I turn this item here, which does not have any type of hole in it, into a piece of jewelry? So I want to show you a couple different things we've done and talk about the various choices you have. So here I've taken a domino and I've actually created my own bale. I've taken a piece of 18 gauge wire and have created what was the start of a spiral head pin. And then I've used my round nose pliers and a steel bench block and chasing hammer to hammer it down. And I just created the curvature of the wire myself with my round nose pliers. So that is one option, and we actually show you in another video here at Beetaholic how to make this exact bale. Another option you have is you can go ahead and mount the object, like this domino, onto a stamping blank. So here I have a stamping blank, which started out like this, with no holes, and then we have a great tool here, which is a Euro punch, round hole punch, that goes through metal and I just punched the individual holes into the stamping blank and then connected them with jump rings. That's another option. You can also punch a hole through the actual metal of the bottle caps. Here's one that's in its entire form and here's one that's been flattened. You can see here it was just the simple process of punching a hole into the ruffled edge of the bottle cap and then opening and attaching a jump ring. This here was the same process, I just punched a hole and then I just opened and attached an earring hook and put that right there on the bottle cap. Probably the easiest option you have is an on coup bale. on coup bales look like this. Here's one for a pendant. You can see that the necklace chain can actually slide through it in this direction. And then here's one actually for an earring hook. So you see how earring hooks usually have the orientation where they're facing forward. So you're going to want your bale to have a hook that faces forward. So this is a great one for an earring hook. And these are nice because you can see, let me show you in an actual example here, they glue on to the back and then they come around the top a little bit so that bale is actually centered and looks like it's in the proper orientation to your mixed media piece. Here's a bracelet with bottle caps and again I've just punched through the metal itself and used some jump rings to attach. And a final option is you can actually use a stamping blank. And here I've just glued it on. And the glue I've used for all of these is E6000. It's a glue we love here. It's just a wonderful glue. It creates an excellent bond, it adheres to all types of different surfaces. It's also waterproof, which is nice if you're going to get these wet. So here's a stamping blank with a little bit of a little hoop up at the top. And then I've just used that to attach my jump ring. So let me show you what these look like before they've been put onto the jewelry pieces. Here again is the Honor Coup Bale. They come in all different finishes, different sizes, different shapes. Some have real decorative tops to them as well. You could go ahead and use a piece of filigree. You can just bend it and create your own bale. If you wanted to do something like that and you would just glue your object between the two sides of it. Here's another piece of filigree. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and glue that onto the back of a bottle cap. And then here you've got now a loop, which will allow you to attach a chain or a jump ring. And then here's just a small selection of the stamping blanks which are available. Again, the ones with no holes, you can easily remedy that just by punching a hole in it. Or some actually come with holes already attached, holes already punched, and then some have little hoops up at the top. These are just some of the options available to you. I hope you have fun exploring different ways that you can connect and make beautiful jewelry out of mixed media pieces.